infertility affects about 6.1 million Americans, or 10% of the reproductive age population, according to the American Society for Reproductive Medicine. In fact, approximately 15% of couples attempting their first pregnancy meet with failure. Infertility is defined as uh, couples trying to conceive, and if they've been trying for over a year and they're less than age 35, that is infertility. For patients above the age of 35, we would like them to seek fertility consultation after six months. Dr. Sam Najmabadi and his staff at the Center for Reproductive Health and Gynecology in Southern California recognize the medical, financial, and emotional impact fertility treatments can have. But the most common treatments for infertility involve fertility drugs for people with ovulation problems, uh, sperm wash and insemination for patients with sperm problems, uh, surgery uh, for scar tissue in the abdomen or around the fallopian tubes for patients with scar tissue problems or endometriosis. In severe cases of uh, male factor or tubal factor or ovulation problems, then we move on to in vitro fertilization or assisted reproductive technology. A friend of ours recommended Dr. Najma Badi to us and we had been trying for three years unsuccessfully and he recommended in vitro fertilization the first time we saw him and we were really lucky on our first transfer we got pregnant. The Center for Reproductive Health and Gynecology is committed to providing you with comprehensive fertility treatments including treatment of hormonal disorders, ovulation induction, infertility surgery, male infertility and assisted reproductive technologies. Our strength lies in our ability to provide both the simple and the most advanced treatments. I was referred to Dr. Najim Body by my OBGYN. We came here, ran some tests, identified the problem. We started the in vitro process. Four weeks from that point, I learned I was pregnant with Zaid, and he was born December 13, 2004. And then in May, I decided I wanted to do in vitro again while I was young, so we've done it again. And I'm now pregnant with twins, which are due February 21st of 2006. And it's a boy and a girl, so we have instant family. Currently, the problem with infertility treatment is multiple pregnancies. That means twins and triplets and higher order pregnancies. I think what's going to happen in the future is that most patients are going to get pre-implantation genetics or PGD and therefore we can identify embryos that are normal. Thereby we can put in less embryos in the uterus and increase the odds of getting pregnant, decrease the odds of not getting pregnant or having a failure with in vitro fertilization and decrease the chance of having multiple pregnancies.